Hello and welcome to Wine Jam News with me, Sam Cash, your weekly wine news every Friday at 8pm. So subscribe and click the bell down below for your notifications. First up, France has had a bit of a, a back and forth uh, argument over what the French wine advertising should be for, for wine in general. Uh, with the F National Medical Academy, the Alcohol Industry Lobby, the Public Health uh, Department as well, with um, the wine trade all getting into this mix of, you know, arguing over the fact that, oh, you seem to be campaigning against us with the health side stating, well, you need to make more uh, additions to showing the French public that there are health risks. Um, to, with one of the particular parties talking about uh, including a minimum price on drinks and simple warnings on bottles that read alcohol is a danger to health. Um, interesting. I don't know how well that will go down in France. The industry, together with the health department, already wanting to campaign for to tell pregnant women not to drink uh, wine, uh, which will be launched this autumn. But I think that's something that should be done 40 years ago. Uh, but it's good that they're trying to go along the same lines. We will see how this turns out, whether that will mean a change on the labels. As I'd stated before in other wine news as well, uh, we yeah, watch the space, I guess, is the case. Next up is uh, the Napa Valley. Is Obviously, the Coppella uh, is looking to expand the Inglenook Winery. Uh, they're looking to basically make more single vineyard uh, wines that they're creating uh, there. So they are expanding to create more barrels, more uh, steel tanks, I believe, in that uh, new setting. The pricing hasn't come up in any situation, but it'll be interesting to see in the coming years what kind of new wines they're going to be producing. In further news... M&S, Marks and Spencers, is in London court to appeal a ruling that a free bottle of wine offered alongside a popular dinner uh, should be taxed as part of a £10 promotion that they do. So they do a meal, they do a dessert, and then they do a bottle of wine all for £10, around $13. Uh, the UK tax authority said on Friday that the wine should be treated as part of a overall offer. Uh, what has actually taken place is a sale of four items not one given away for free. Uh, we're going to go back and forth over this, but I think right now it seems like the consumer's getting a good um, offer or not, depending how you want to look at it, because they're not paying the tax on one of their own particular purchases. We'll see. Concha Toro are releasing a new wine in the can product with the uh, ABV being 5.5%. It's to target the audience under 45 years. Um, this is to see the expansion of the can in wine in the UK as it's been going down in the US. I like the idea of, I've spoken about this before, wine in the can, but I'd like to see what kind of product is really in the can and whether it really stands out on its own. I will do another video about wines in the can that I've tasted recently but that will be coming up later <laughs> in one of my episodes. But moving on, and to the next piece of news, an all-female team, uh, which is the House of Sucker Wines, have infused cannabis with sparkling Pinot Noir. Uh, the Pinot Noir is gathered all over uh, Napa Valley. Uh, the wines are fermented in stainless steel, which the alcohol is removed and then infused uh, with THC and CBD, which is a water-soluble cannabis. Um, the, format, the the way this would work is that after about 10 to 15 minutes, you would feel the effects. Um, quite an interesting uh, proposal. I think I've kind of heard one or two things about this. Um, but I think the idea of getting wine um, and weed together, is, I don't know if it's dangerous mix in my opinion, on a night out. Um, Hmm. So click here for more videos and subscribe down here to uh, see more of the content we have. I'll be back again next Friday at 8pm.